Hello everyone, I am Siddharth. This is example 4 of mechanism in FreeCAD A2+. Here is my mechanism. Let's go to solve this mechanism in FreeCAD A2+. We need to open A2+, and new file, and save this file. I open first part of this assembly. The part name is base frame. Now I am open second part of this assembly. The part name is rod bearing. I am use transform tool at the degree of 90. Select this circular part of rod bearing and select this face on base frame and apply point and plane constraint. The offset distance is minus 30. Select this face of rod bearing, select this face of base frame and apply plane on plane constraint. Now I am open third part of this assembly. The part name is rod. Select this circular part of rod and select this circular part of bearing and apply circular edge constraint now I am open again rod bearing select this circular part of bearing and select this circular part of rod and apply circular edge constraint now you can move this rod now I am open next part of this assembly the part name is scissor leg I use transform tool and root it at this position Select this circular part of scissor leg. Select this circular part of rod bearing. And apply circular edge constraint. Now I am open again scissor leg. I use transform tool again select circular part of both scissor leg and apply circular edge constraint select this cylindrical part of scissor leg and select this cylindrical part of base frame and apply axis coincident constraint now you can move this part now I am open next part of this assembly the part name is platform I use transform tool
Select this circular part of scissor leg, this circular part of platform, and apply circular edge constraint. Now I am open next part of this assembly. The part name is damper part 2. I use transform tool. Select this face of damper part 2. And select this face of hydraulic box. And apply center mass of constraint. This part position is fixed. Now I am open temper part first. Select this cylindrical face of temper part 1 and select this cylindrical face of temper part 2 and apply axis coincident constraint. Now select this face of damper part first and select this face of platform and apply plane on plane constraint. Now you can move this platform. I have completed my mechanism. Thank you for watching video.